Yo, what's up, YouTube? What's poppin', boys? All right, so I'm back. Um, it's taking a little longer on that Tiger, you feel me? So what we're gonna really be doing is an oil change on the fucking Jeep, you heard? We're gonna be doing that shit. Just to get that out the way. So let me show you boys what I got going on. So what I got right here, you know, I got my little ratchet, 13 on socket on there. I know, I know, I know. It's not like a regular socket, but like, I ain't gonna hold to you boys, bro. I left my other socket at work, so this one had to do, no cap. And then I got, you know, oil pan, not oil, what you wanna call it? Dray pan, stuff like that. And I got the oil. And I got the oil filter for you, here. You can see the oil right now. That's stuff, that's stuff. I know, I know. I know we got already oil in there type shit, but like, gang, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean this shit up anyway. We're just gonna get this out the way, you feel what I'm saying? I don't know if I'm looking in the camera right. We're gonna get this shit out the way, you feel what I'm saying? And really just get things done type shit. So, um, what we got going on now? Huh? Like, let me, let me. Let me show you boys the, let me show you boys the whip, bro. Let me show you boys the V, boy. All right, so, this is what we got going on, gang. Okay? This is what we got going on. I've been trying to keep this joint nice, bro. But real talk, like, they keep it real to you, boys. Oh, shit. All right, all right, let's get straight to it. At work, I ain't gonna lie, at work, um... I already rotated the tires and everything at work. I just cross rotated them. I always be cross rotating the on um, the tires on this car, but like all the other cars I be working at work, I don't be cross cross. I don't be doing that shit. I just be doing, I just be doing it to my car. I ain't gonna lie, gang. <laughs> I be doing fancy shit to my car. So let's get straight to it, bro. You feel me? So what we're gonna do is first we're gonna drain the car. Um, I kind of been letting the car just sit for a little bit, real talk, to like kind of just let it cool down first before I stick my hand down there to do some, like, to drain that shit. But first, let's just fucking, let's open the hood, you feel what I'm saying? Let's open the fucking hood. Show you boys this shit. This shit heavy. Ugh. Oh, shit. Hold up, boys, hold up, hold up. I'm gonna have to put you boys down in order to um, put the hood up. But to really tell you boys, bro, like I'm really making this YouTube video and shit like that because I really want to. And you know, I might as well get some content out of this shit. You know what I mean? Just show you boys how to do an oil change on a car. And especially a shit like this, like this car. Hold on. Hold on let me go, let me, let me, let me do the hood real quick. Real spill. All right, so for this car, you feel what I'm talking about? Um, The oil filter's in a weird ass spot. You feel what I'm saying? Like, the oil filter is, like, down here somewhere. It's in this general area. So, it's kind of hard to, like, really just get to it. You feel what I'm saying? But, you know, we got a fucking V6. It's a 3.7 liter engine. My boys, my boys. This shit is not that fast, G. So, don't be in the comments talking about, oh, yeah, bro. This shit is not fast, man. I think this shit got, like, probably, like, 300 horsepower. But, bro, acceleration, G, is not that fast, bro. Like, real shit, bro. <laughs> It's a strong ass car, real talk. This shit strong as a bitch. This shit strong as hell, you feel what I'm saying, gang? But we're just gonna get everything situated. I just popped the cap on this hoe. Real shit. Pop <laughs> the cap on this bitch. So we're straight on that. But just, you know, real spill for you guys, but, um, you can do anything you fucking want, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm out here in the fucking park because I ain't gonna lie again, my mom, my mom told me, like, nah, you can't do the oil change at the house, you can't do the oil change at the crib, so I'm like, bet, alright, shoot, let me go find somewhere else to do the oil change at, you know what I mean? Like, it's not gonna stop me making my content, making my YouTube videos, like, that shit's not gonna stop me, you feel what I'm saying? I'm out here in the fucking corner of the park, you feel what I'm saying? I'm out here in the fucking corner of the park, bro. Doing a fucking oil change, bro. Just to get this content out. Just to keep on pushing something. Like, I know it's taking me longer with the Integra type shit. 
But I'm just taking my time so I don't fully fuck up shit. And I could like take my time and like fully understand what I'm doing and gain some knowledge of that shit. You know what I mean? Some experience type shit. So that's the reason why it's been taking so long with that shit. And also, you know, my job and shit like that. But yeah, yeah. We're gonna get everything situated, you feel what I'm saying? And just really just show you boys how to do this shit, cause you know, with the oil filter, the oil filter is the most hardest shit just to put on this motherfucker. And to take that bitch off, real talk. So that's the only thing in this car. That's gonna take a fucking minute, bro. Overall, everything else in the car, bro, really ain't gonna take that long, gang. I don't feel I'm I ain't gonna lie to you boys. It's really not gonna take that fucking long. Um But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get to this shit, bro. Real talk. We're gonna get to this shit, boys. Yo, what's up, YouTube? I'm back at it again with this fucking video. So what happened is, I ain't gonna lie to you, boys. Um, my oil filter wrench, that shit was mad whack and fucking broken. So I got me a fucking brand new oil filter wrench in this shit. Where the fucking other one went? Where I put the other one at? <laughs> I brought two of those bitches too. I'll put that shit on here. And I brought this one as well, bro. This shit, it's gonna be a lifesaver as well. And I got, next time, I ain't gonna lie, next time, I'm gonna be careful letting my fucking coworkers use my shit. I ain't gonna lie. I gotta be careful with that shit. And I gotta be careful just treating my shit like ass, real talk. Type shit, type shit. If I get this shit on. Hold the camera real quick, quick. You gotta hold it like, yeah, hold it like it's that. It's face that way, right? Yeah, it's face that way where I can see myself, bro. So I don't look fucking retarded in camera. Real shit, real shit. So, we're gonna be using these shits for the fucking oil filter rush because this car game, this shit's on something else, bro. Real shit. Ain't nothing like that. So, we're gonna get this shit started, bro. Uh, bring that shit, man. Alright, boy, so. When it comes to changing oil, or can we gotta put it up like that? Boom, there you go. When it comes to changing oil, bro, always wanna just wait like probably like maybe like 10 or 15 minutes or 20 minutes you prefer of letting the car just kind of cool down, you feel what I'm saying? Type shit. Cause like you don't wanna just like turn the fucking engine off like a puzzle and then go under the car, drain the fucking oil, bro, I guarantee you, you're gonna be screaming like a 12-year-old fucking bitch, bro. Straight up. You're gonna, be, <laughs> you're gonna be screaming like a 12-year-old little girl, bro. Straight up. Don't do that, gang. Just let the car sit and chill for a second. Like, you don't have to touch the car right now. I guarantee the car don't want you to be touching it either, so just try to chill. So, wait for the car to cool down, but while you doing that, come over here, Cody, real quick. Why you doing that? What you could do as well. You feel what I'm saying, boys? Take the oil filter off. So you can kind of release some, some of that pressure down there. So when you take this shit off, you know, you don't got like oil kind of shooting out at your ass, bro. You don't want that, gang. I had that shit happen to me, bro. And I still got nightmares till this fucking day with that shit. Don't, <laughs> don't let that shit happen, bro. Real talk, real talk. Also, your boy's gonna have to get you a funnel. Um, for this funnel, I ain't gonna lie, uh, this is probably like better for smaller cars, you feel what I'm saying? But I don't have a big funnel like that because I'm just a cheap ass dude for right now. We're gonna use what we got, bro. Real shit. So we're just gonna use that funnel. <coughs> uh, check this out. Also, we're gonna show you what this shit too, bro. We also got some premium ass oil for you boys, bro. Look at this shit. Hold on. Let me fucking put this shit right here. Look at this shit, boys. Look at this shit. Fucking, I don't know if you boys can see this shit. What the fuck is this? Bro? I got flipped that hoe. Look at that shit, bro. Pro, pro formula, real shit. <laughs> you having an unnatural allegiance to losers does not like you. <laughs> for, for you, bro. Real shit, bro. Uh, let's get this shit started real quick. Um, when it comes to this car, because this is a Jeep Liberty. <coughs> this is a Jeep Liberty, you feel me? Uh, we're going to get some little pan shots. Just, just back up a little bit. Kind of just get a little bit of the fucking car, you know what I'm saying? Um, you see what I'm saying? And I've got to say, in all honesty, um, it's the biggest piece of dog shit. 
Hey, the whip kind of clean though. I ain't gonna lie. I took that shit to the fucking gas station um, washing machine. I paid $15 for this wash, man. Shit, wow, real shit. But yeah, boys, um, when it comes to doing on this car, the, the easiest thing, bro, is just like the, the drain plug. Like, taking the drain plug out is easy as hell. Getting to the oil filter is low key kind of hard, though, but I kind of found like a new method how to get to that shit. Uh, I'll show you boys how to do that. I know, like, when, I know, like, all you guys not gonna have this car type shit, but it's still good to learn how to do an oil change, bro. You know what I mean? Especially as a dude, bro. You wanna impress your girl, bro, doing an oil change on her car gate. You wanna impress her. You wanna pull mad chicks, bro. Learn how to do an oil change, bro. Be mechanically inclined, bro. Real talk, bro. Women find it fine as hell that a man can work on his own car. That means he can deal with his own situations. You feel what I'm saying? His own fucking problems, bro. Real shit. I'm speaking facts, bro. That's why my own boy laughing in the fucking background. We speaking facts. And that means you're good with your hands. <laughs> stop, <laughs> stop, stop, stop. What do you mean by that? They good with your hands too, bro. Type shit, type shit. You see, and also when you get good at this suit, and you're good at like ripping these oil filters type shit and taking these off and taking these fucking drain plugs off, bro. I'm telling you, bro. That 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 that, that finger play, bro. Something else, bro. In GTA, you feel me? <laughs> In GTA, bro. Uh, this is um. Great. We're not talking about anything sexual. We're not talking about anything sexual. Okay, we're. We're just talking about perfect form and technique of taking these oil filters off and taking the drape plug. We ain't talking about um, um, doing anything to your girls, okay? All right, I just want to let you know that. But I will tell you this too. After we're done with this video, I am going to put my information in, my social media, and my Snapchat and real shit real quick, you know what I mean? Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel and press that fucking like button you heard. Um, but... I'm just gonna let you boys know, when you like my shit on Instagram, you know what I mean, you add my shit on Instagram, just don't get mad that all of a sudden, your girl is on her phone a little too much, bro. I'm just letting you know, I know, bro. I'm just that dude, bro. But it's okay, though. Hey, mad respect, bro. Mad love, I do. I, I still respect you, though. You know what I mean? Just don't be mad, bro, that, you know, one day you might see your girl in my videos, gang, and I'm doing her fucking oil change real quick. This shit started, man, so. It depends on like how big your engine is type of shit. Just because it's a V6 and it's like 3.7 liter engine, bro. We're gonna be using fucking, we're gonna be using both of these holes right here, bro. Real shit, bro. We're gonna be using both of these holes, bro. Bitch. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna have to go over there. So you can put me in the back of your pants. Oh shit, we fucked. Oh. All right, let's see what I have to do. Um, to be real with you, Kobe. The order to get to this, I might have to put the car on a fucking, um, on the curb. <clears throat> to have one half of it lift up. Cause I don't even think it's so hard. I'm gonna, you know what I'm saying? Take shit. Yeah. So hold on. Let's do it like this. Turn the car around and point it like this. I'm not gonna lie, bro. The car looking fucking clean today. God damn. Fucking finally, this car's not holding me anymore, bro. I can finally pull bitches with this shit, bro. Real <laughs> shit. But we're gonna probably just. What we're gonna do, boys, because this shit can't get under here, bro. Because we're gonna need both of these joints. Because we're gonna make a big ass mess if we don't do so. I'm gonna turn the fucking V around 
put it on the um, mm -hmm. on the um, what you call that shit? Again? Curb. We gonna put that shit on the fucking curb, fucking ghetto style, bro. And we're gonna get straight to it, bro. We be right. Back. <laughs> Got the elderly people coming. <laughs> right, we're just gonna put ten light. Um, something's wrong with the car, bro. And if the car already, we're just kind of just trying to fix it real quick. You feel what I'm saying? Type shit. Well, let's get this out of the fucking way, bro. Oh, you're gonna have to lay down on the ground because I'm about to drain this one real quick. All right. Drain it from the. Yeah, from. You see, boys, we're on a fucking mission. I mean, we're on a mission real quick. Real quick. Oh, shoot. Oh, Fuck. <laughs> Hot. 
the drain, just keep an eye on it. Yup. Yup. Let's spin to the right a little bit. Oh, shit. I'm gonna back up a little bit more. Yeah, there you go. Right there. Hoping that fucking lady over there on the phone. Yeah. Stops doing shit. That's what I'm saying, your ass, bro. I mean, we, it's not illegal to freaking change your oil out here. Exactly. Like, like, we're not doing anything harm. We're just changing fucking oil. Oh, so tell on the fucking Facebook page. So, I mean, a bunch of moms do that. <laughs> well, hopefully she's not, bro. She is black, so. She's done that shit. Well, fuck it, it's kind of wrap on her ass. Everybody goes to the real <laughs> black carrier, bro. <laughs> All right, boys, so. <laughs> okay, um, this. Oh, you gotta put the camera towards you. So. Oh, towards your mate? What, this uh, one? Yeah, this way, this way. All right, boys, so. This is, um. The jank way how to do it. This is the hood style. We're showing you guys the hood style how to change oil <laughs> in the park. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Hood style changing oil in the park with a whole bunch of little kids looking at us like we're selling crap. <laughs> listen, bro. Listen, boys. We got this. All right. All right. Show the show me doing this. <sighs> well, my boy, I hope I'll be bit, I hope I'll become obsessed with this shit game, <laughs> bro. We are on a fucking mission, bro. We're on a mission, bro. Let's get it. Luckily, with, with these type of drain plugs, because there is a, uh, that's good. Luckily, with these type of drain plugs, because it is a uh, Chrysler, it doesn't really need a, a lot of force down on the on the drain plug. You don't have to tighten it so tight. It's just not one of those drains, uh, not drugs, <laughs> it's not what. I'm gonna bleep that out, by the way. <laughs> it's not, it's not one of those drape plugs that you have to tight so hard. Okay. It's like Mission Impossible. But it's actually possible. <laughs> okay. Two oil filters. <laughs> well, it looks like the claw from the claw machine, bro. <laughs> this is like a James Bond spy gadget, bro. <laughs> We're just connecting stuff. Okay. This is crazy what we're doing right now. flatter surface it's really hard to do so 
Yeah, it's like right there. I'm gonna have to find. I need a shorter extension, I believe, in order to get to that. I don't think I'm gonna even get to that with that. Like this. This might be the most janky thing ever did in my life. If it stop hitting stuff, that'd be nice. There you go. Come on. See, you gotta go like that. Here we go. Okay. Come on. Ah, oh, so close. Right there. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I was president of HRA for four years now. Think, you think I care? Look at me. Do I look like I care? Look, just take it. Do I look like I Look at me. Look, just, no, Sharice, no. look at me. Do I look like I care? Look. I don't care. We, we, we live here. Huh? We live here. Okay. And you're changing all over the curb line? Yes, yes sir. sir. Well, you're getting all over the curb. You realize that, right? We're we're cleaning we're cleaning it up. We're cleaning it up, buddy. Hmm? It's all good. If he find this, he find this. It's it is. It's whatever. If he find this, he find this. I'll just, I'll just give him the money. Here's what it is. Well, we're gonna have to hurry this up. You might call the police. You might call the police on some kids just doing the oil change. You feel what I'm saying? Right there. Mm. He's like, oh, um, the HOA for over three years. President of the HOA. Hey, so yeah. I was, so he's not currently. Dang, we don't care. Okay. Uh, boom. He said, I don't think you'll be able to clean that up. Dang, I have cleaned up multiple oil spills. Oof. What you really need to do is get some brake cleaner. You come back and just clean this up. I remember JJ literally told me, he was like, they literally cannot arrest you for oil spill, for oil clean. Okay, that's cool. It's literally not illegal. You change the oil, this motherfucker. Now I just gotta figure out how to get this thing out. Okay. Let's That's see. when we were at our house. I don't know about the park. Let's see where I can kind of just get it out. Right there. Boom. He's like, changing oil? Yes. Sometimes, you know something I realize about America? Sometimes America would get mad at you when you're just a young dude really trying to make it out in this world. You see you see two young guys changing oil, working on their cars. But no, you're gonna get irritated mad at that. But if you see two young guys over here selling uh, illegal substances, that's a problem as well. It's like you can't do nothing in this world. That like, is what it is. Hey, whoever that dude is, hey, who cares about him? We out here doing it. And we all gonna hurry up though. Also, you guys, very important to lubricate the oil ring. You don't lubricate the oil ring and you put that on there, it's gonna be uh, just a bitch to take that off. I swear, if he was gonna ask for our address, I'm, like, I'm not telling you where I live, bro. Where I wasn't telling where I live either. Oh, 
right. So we have to put this back on here. This is when it gets a little bit hard. Cause now, he's like, you changing the oil on the curve? Yeah, we changed the oil on the curve. Unlike you, my Jeep don't have big tires like that. That black, that black had me probably did tell on the Facebook page, but. Probably did. It's whatever. But, but there's two people doing illegal things, <laughs> even though you don't even know what we're even doing. Look, at the end of the day, you gotta take risks. Anybody watching this video, look, at the end of the day, you have to take risks, you feel what I'm saying? This might look janky as hell, everything like that, but I really want to do this YouTube thing. And I was like, dang. My mom told me, you can't do the oil change at the house. All right, I'll go find somewhere else to do it. Told me you can't do the oil change right here. Okay, I'll go find find someone else to do it. You gotta take risks, you guys. We ain't gonna make it nowhere. We ain't. We can't take risks. If you're too scared to, to do something that you want to do because of what other people think, <clears throat> you're not gonna make it out in this world. You can't care what everybody thinks about what you're doing. Even if someone might think it's bad or not, who cares? <laughs> we're all gonna go, we're all gonna meet our maker one day and he's gonna judge you. That's the only person you should be scared about getting judged by. Not some just not some regular human. All right. That is tight enough. Mm. Everything's all set. Put everything away. And it's all good. We'll come right back with some brake cleaner and spray that down. You feel what I'm saying, guys? So that little sidewalk part gonna be all covered in oil, you feel? I'm a nice guy, you feel what I'm saying? We're gonna come back later on. Now all we gotta do is just put some oil in this one. We're straight. There ain't no cops around. So you know this ain't legal doing this oil change on your vehicle type stuff. You know what I'm saying? Hey, if that girl did report us for this, hey, it's whatever, bro. Hey, shame on her. She just seeing two young dudes trying to chill wool change and she out here hating. It's all cool, you know what I mean? While, while you guys are over here with your kids, you gotta pay all this money and stuff like that, taxes, everything, we out here trying to just make it out in this world. name you talking about i know they did not make no sense but hey we're trying to do what i can all right i had to make sure i did not put the camera on him for real for you cannot just... well it we're all in a public space so he's just gonna be mad even though like he don't have an excuse so yeah. i don't understand why did he come over here bro? i'm saying bro i I'm gonna call JJ after this and be like, bro, we had no fucking, we had some hater pull up on us today. Some hater pull up, bro. So what we you doing for a change? What are you gonna tell us, no? You two, bro, we're two grown ass men. You ain't gonna tell my ass. If you would've told us, I would've told him, well, sir. He basically just came here and said, he asked us a question, he said, you're spilling oil and left. Exactly. I thought he was gonna call the cops. I was gonna, I was gonna just be like, okay. Call hey, the cops hey. for what? Shit, I don't know. Hey, that's how, that's how someone to be doing. 
caught the cops on you. Nothing. I thought a cop, bro, I literally thought that was a cop pulled up. I, all I saw was a white car. I was like, oh, shoot, hey. I was like, oh, shoot, it is what it is. I'm going to still keep on draining this oil, though. <laughs> I'm going to still keep on draining this oil. I'm going to still keep on doing that. I'm just going to be like, hey, yo, cool, me, bro. Just, just point the camera towards me, bro. Just, just keep keep that. Keep on the hitch, bro. Said it gets a tire, bro. You said it gets a tire. Yeah, that would actually be smart. Like, setting it, like, right behind the tire and stuff. It would still pick up the sound, bro. It will still pick up the sound real time. This is, I ain't gonna lie, bro. We mad chilling, bro. This is a good video. You know what I'm mad talking, bro. You know what I mean? Even though we had a hater come by, it was a good video, man. Also, all right, guys, when it comes to the oil, oil canisters, um, you kind of just want to, you know, let it kind of just drain a little bit. Because sometimes when you put these things down, you set them like on, you set them like this. Sometimes all that oil, that was like on the wall of it but just glide down to the bottom and just sit there and then you go oh why is my stuff still like you know blah 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 short that's because you know you still got a little bit of oil in there that you just need to get it out right like that. boom so after you're done putting the oil in there, you gotta check the dip stick. You feel me? To make sure everything is all set. Now this car, this car takes like um like 4.6 quarts, but we just put an extra in there. Like we didn't we didn't put like an actual quart in there. We put like like half a quart in there, so it's not gonna hurt the engine at all. If you put like more in a quart in there, then yes, you know, you're hurting your engine, gang. You know what I mean? That's now you're now you're gonna deal with like maybe your piston hydro locking on you or you know, whatever. Or you might have some oil leak going on because you just have too much oil and too much pressure in your engine now. You're just messing it up. But I will already wipe the oil down, but like if you could see, I don't know if you can see you guys, but right here. This is like right, okay, so right here, right? If your oil's right there, I don't know you guys. Am I in the right, am I in the line? Right here. If your oil is like right here, you guys, it means your oil's low. If your oil's right here, it's pretty good. If it's just a little bit high, you're just fine. Also, if you if you like, like, like right now, we just put oil in the vehicle, it was a little higher than normal, like it was like, I'll say like right here. I don't know if you can zoom in, but the the line is like right here. It was like right here. So that's fine for right now because you know a whole quart of oil is gonna go into the oil filter. So you don't have to really like be like, oh shoot, I just overfilled it. No, you're you're just fine. Just turn the car on, let the car idle for a sec, and you'll be just fine. You don't gotta worry about all that. Real talk, real talk, real spill. Okay, okay. all right, so boys. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna turn the car on. You're just gonna let it idle for just like, you know, probably like two seconds or something like that. gonna get the oil the um oil light out the way real quick now when it comes to these um the chryslers and everything like that these ones are gonna be pretty weird you're gonna have to use the gas pedal to reset the oil light i know it's weird so what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn the key without the engine being on but everything in the dash is gonna show up you gotta pull it up just a little bit get right there everything in the dash is gonna show up we're just gonna press on the gas pedal at least five or ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom. Turn it off and just turn it back on. And it shouldn't say on the little 
on the little thing right here, it shouldn't say um oil change. So we're straight now. We're straight right now. Now we're gonna turn the car off and check the dipstick. Always take it out, then wipe it, then stick it back in. That's for putting the oil in and checking it like that now. And then once you turn the car on, reset the oil light, then turn it back off. You gotta do the same thing as well. Cause that's how you get an accurate reading. Always take it out, wipe it and stick it back in. Like right here, if you boys can see, I don't know if you boys can see that oil, but the oil is like right, it's like right here where my finger is at. It's pretty good. And the, um, the line, the full line is like right here. So it's a little bit above, but that's totally fine. You know, it, it, it don't have to be dead center. It could be a little bit above, just not too high. That it's like that noticeable. Then you're gonna have to redrain the whole car and then put oil right back in the car. So we're doing good now. Just gonna wipe that off. Boom. You guys are all done with the oil change. We all finished with that, boys. Hey, look, you gotta put the camera like this. Look, yo, hey, listen, gang. We had that dude came over here, mad hating on us young dudes over here doing the oil change in the car, bro. We all here just trying to take care of the Jeep, you feel me? You know what I mean? You gotta take care of your car, keep your car clean so you can get the females, real talk. But, uh, like, for real, gang, like, you gotta just, like, you know, I don't even know what I was about to say. Oh, yeah, you gotta just take risks, bro. You know what I mean? We out here in the park, bro. It's a beautiful day outside. It's a little bit chilly outside, but it's mad cool, though. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. We out here doing our thing changing the oil just got finished up with fixing the jeep with that shit but take risks you feel what i'm saying don't like don't let anybody you know get in your way or what you want to do type shit you know homeboy came up on here kind of on some hating type shit but hey it's all cool though we out here trying to still do the video you feel me even if the cops pulled over i'm still gonna record you feel what i'm saying you just gotta just do your thing bro don't let nobody stop you don't let your mom stop you don't let your um your dad your family, sisters, brothers, whoever, bro. Don't let your friends stop you either, bro. You know what I mean? Keep on doing your thing, bro. And support your people as well, your friends, your homeboys, your homegirls as well, bro. But you guys have a wonderful, blessed day, bro. We're gonna pack this joint up and get the fuck out of here, you feel what I'm saying? Hey, you guys have a wonderful day. Peace out, subscribe, and press that like button, you feel me? Hey, er, peace out, boys.